What followed this dog? Turn out to be a little bear and a little wolf. What is the relationship between dogs and them? How do they get along? Mother's love is the greatest emotion in this world. Mothers give everything they have to their babies. Even if there is a gap between species, but this sincere friendship will not fade. The little bear in front of us, originally lived in dense forest with his mother. Every day of it is very happy. But in an accidental outing, when the little bear followed the mother into the human world, after being frightened by passers-by, the mother bear fled back to the forest in a panic. But the little B.A. R. couldn't keep up with its mother. It was finally left in the human world. Fortunately, the passers-by noticed the little bear hiding in the bush in time. They took it to the local zoo and hire a professional breeder to take care of the daily life of the little bear. When the breeder came to the cub, it was still an unweaned baby and need a mother's tender care and care. But the mother bear has long since left and returned to the forest. The breeders had to find a new breastfeeding mother for this little bear. Soon they found a dog mother who just gave birth. Everyone hurriedly sent the dog mother to the bear's side. And the mother dog lives up to expectations, it walked up to the bear and bend down, start feeding this special baby. It took on the responsibility. Lighty of taking care of the cubs. Under the selfless feeding of the dog mother, the little bear gradually grows shiny and soft hair. It will be frolicking on the lawn with the dog mother every day. And the mother dog will never tire of it. In response to the enthusiasm of the bear, at this time, the little bear has not started to grow. Its size is almost the same as that of a normal dog. Dog mothers can always rely successfully defeated the immature bear on life experience. The bear who refuses tea, oh admit defeat will challenge this gentle mother again. They accompany each other and enjoy the warm sunshine. Time is passing away, it didn't take long for this special family to welcome a new member. A little wolf who just lost its mother was taken to them by the breeder. The dog mother selflessly accepts the little wolf. The bear is not dissatisfied with this either, the three little animals have officially formed a deep bond. They become irreplaceable family members. Every day the little wolf rolls on the lawn to exhaust energy in the body. While the little bear will follow behind the mother dog and pee. Esther it to play with yourself at this time, the bear has started to develop and grow. Its size is much stronger than that of the mother dog and the little wolf. But even so, it is still not the opponent of the little wolf. It always be pushed to the ground by the wolf. Every time when seeing a bear cub tangled with a mother dog, the wolf will be there as soon as possible and bravely help the dog mother out of the siege. Then it join the bear's game and play with it lively. By this time, the dog mother always plays the role of the old mother, step up and stop them from arguing. These three little guys live happily together like this. A few months later. The dog mother successfully completed the task of breastfeeding. So the breeder sent it out of the zoo. And the little wolf and the little bear continue. Their happy life here. They live a carefree life. Under the care of breeders. These two little guys gradually grew up healthy. But they still haven't forgotten. Their mother who fed them. Whenever they see a familiar lawn, bear and wolf are always in deep thought, and miss the bits and pieces they had with their mother. After a few years, the breeder takes mother dog back to the zoo again. At this time, the dog mother is already a little old. It stands on the steps and casts a kind glance to the little bear and the little wolf. But the little bear stepped forward excitedly. Want to play again with mother dog. Fortunately, 
the little wolf stopped it in time. The dog mother avoided a lot of entanglement. Watching the picture of two babies chasing and running. The dog mother can't hold back her joy in the end. And rushed down the lawn to join the children's game. Seeing this, the breeders. Also showed a happy smile. A woman adopted a lion cub and this experience finally taught her a lesson about life that she never knew before. Have you ever been to someone's house and realized they're different from other houses? If you've been to an Sneeman's house, you'll know why some people are so shocked. Why? Because Anne has a lion in her house. She keeps it as a pet. What's more, she has a dog and these animals actually like each other. What is going on? You must be wondering why this animal lover can keep this amazing feline in her home and why it is like a common cat. What is their daily life like? Where is she from? Where is her family? Not have anything to say about her bizarre pet. The lady who keeps this wonderful pet is in Sneeman. She resides near Bella Bella in the water town, South Africa, and has always been a lover of animals. Since childhood, she had always loved animals so much. One spring, she adopted a lion cub. The cub needed shelter and care, so she took charge it. After she decided to take in the lion cub, and soon realized that this was not an easy task. She found out how tiresome maintaining a huge feline actually was. However, she's not unprepared. She had actually done some training to keep the cat in her house. The training was for her to be well versed in taking care of a lion. Timba, the lion cub, soon accepted this harmonious and kind family. Just like other ordinary pets, Timba was a troublemaker. He is somewhat rebellious and misbehaving, always disobeying his owner's orders. For example, he is always caught stealing some food from the kitchen. He acts like other cats. However, there was one thing he was actually good for. Timbo would often help around the house since he was only a baby. When and took him in, it's easy to handle and take care of him. After all, little cubs have the cuteness factor that adds to their charm and allure. But as time went by, he grew into a huge size and was getting hard to handle as he grew bigger. Timba soon learned how to walk with his owner and the dog since he was brought up. He was very protective and possessive of him in a way. To some extent, he really thought she was his mother. His attachment was blatant when other people came into the house. Whenever there were guests, Timber would become jealous and would place himself between Anne and her guests. And loves her pet so much so she always wants to keep both her cat and her dog happy. But since the animals love her so much, they are often jealous. And said, so it can be a challenge with relationships as well. And there are often some jealousy issues about who is going to snuggle up with whom on the couch. She even revealed that Timba was not one to back down when there was a competitor who tried to take his attention. She later revealed to interviewers that he wanted all the attention he could get from her. Whenever she talked about Lion and her dog, and always has a lot of interesting stories to tell. Because dogs and cats are sworn enemies and they fight a lot, which is something we've all seen or heard of. So Timba and Anne's dog often fight. I'm really wondering how to solve the common problem of dogs and lions she revealed. Timba is usually snuggled up in my lap while the other person on the other sofa can only be outside. He looks worried. If you're really serious about this, you know it's pointless to try to argue with a huge lion who has learned to do something while being domesticated at Anne's house. Therefore, he became an expert in snuggling up in the couch. This is something that Timba has mastered perfectly. He's fantastic. It's subtly shifting his way onto the couch between myself and whoever's sitting next to me. Sitting on the couch makes him think it's a fun honor. Since she had trained him to behave not as a wild animal but as a domestic pet, Timba's behavior is confusing. 
He was a feline who absolutely liked cuddling and snuggling with others. He especially loved Anne's hugs and embraces since he was such an expert. He's consistent, so Timba always ends up getting her hugs. There was another joke that Anne made about her jealous pet lion. She revealed that lions would become a good pet for her dad because she learned a lot by taking care of Timba. My dad will be very happy to know that I have a lion because he can keep the boys away from their daughters. Timba always keeps people away from his human mother. He does this very well. Everyone is afraid of lions because we all know lions are wild animals, so they would be concerned about Timba's upbringing and instincts. What happens as Timba gradually becomes an adult lion? Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you can hear more stories. Let's get back to the story. And grew up with lots of animals and it's normal for her, so she never thought about it too much about the fact that her pet cat is actually a lion. You must be wondering how she approached such an unusual pet. The woman had many friends and family members who have grown accustomed to Timba. For her family members and close friends, and was able to know how harmless and lovable Timba was while for other neighbors who could blame them. Timba was still a ferocious animal that could potentially be harmful for themselves. Anne's neighbors are still astounded to see that she often plays with a giant white lion. This is how Anne feels about this perception and said that there was initial fear that took over most of her close ones. But they were used to it since Timba was just like a house cat. Because Timba is as well behaved as a house cat, they have learned not to pay too much attention to him. Her family and friends have forced themselves to get used to his presence. They'd have coffee here. When they happened to meet him, they'd share some sweet treats with him, she revealed to interviewers and knew her friends and family were used to her big cat since Timba was a well-behaved pet. They quickly figured out how to behave around him, but other people thought Timba was terrible, and had a hard time convincing them even though her pet was harmless. Her neighbors were still afraid of Timba. She said someone who lived near Anne's house was shocked when he saw his neighbor keeping a lion as a pet. They still give her confused looks when she plays with Timba. Her neighbors sometimes show concern. Everyone was amazed at what she did. I often see those drivers slowing down when they glimpses in. Having a lion as a pet is strange. It turns out and has another shocking story. It's something in the past. Timba wasn't the only weird pet and had adopted. She actually had another very disturbing animal as her pet before. What is it? How shocking is it? And still had something strange to share about her life. Timba was actually the last adopted wild animal for this animal lover. And began raising other wild animals in 2009. She opened guest farm and began to take in farm animals with the help of her parents, and has always known that she wanted to save animals in need, and she has always been sure about her calling in life that she was born to do this after she opened Guest Farm. She knew that she wanted to do more. So this hard-working woman applied to the Department of Nature Conservation. Since Anne had been working with animals her whole life, she was skilled enough to take care of the most dangerous animals after opening her own farm. Then she applied for a permit to the Department of Nature Conservation and they soon gave in a permit, enabling her to adopt and raise wild animals, and was not worried that these animals would threaten her life. In fact, she was excited to be able to take in these wild animals in need. Her excitement was evident after she decided to adopt them. According to her, she felt the sense of fulfillment when she took in these animals. Working with these animals was therapy and unbeknownst. For me, it's the start of a whole new path in my life. It's passionate rather than just a fancy. The woman explained. Since she took them in while they were in need. And naturally felt the sense of their attachment. 
Since they belong to the wild, she knows a fact that she cannot keep them forever, even though she truly loves all her animals. She has to learn to let go of these wild animals, setting them free in the wild. She loves all the animals she has adopted as if they're her own children. She loves to nurse them back to health and shower them with food and affection. They inspire her maternal instinct. After raising and caring for the animals she adopts, she finds it's extremely difficult to say goodbye to them and part ways. After realizing she couldn't part ways with her adopted animals, she decided to do something about it and needed to make sure she won't have to deal with such a difficult problem in the future. She quickly applied for a permit so she could keep wild animals permanently. Her requests are granted, but sometimes she struggles with her daily tasks. After getting permission, and no longer worries about Timba, she can now take care of this adorable cub and watch him grow into an adult. As time goes by, the last cub she adopts is no longer a beautiful white lion cub and loves the lion and the lion loves her too. Its love for her is palpable. Just like we mentioned before, she always has something funny to say about her cat. Timba is not a lion to make him happy. It's very possessive and jealous. She finds it difficult for her to social because everyone is afraid to approach her. Eventually Timba changed its mind and said, I'm in a relationship now. Thankfully, Timba has totally accepted my lover as one of the family. It turned out Timba was not spoiled at all as compared to the ones that and previously owned. The loving owner claimed that the other feline she took in was more spoiled and naughty. She described the cats and claimed that the first group of lions reared on the farm ruled the house the bed and the couches. They would regularly join me for swims in the farm, and also claimed that the first wild cat she owned had taught her something about herself. She revealed that those cats ignited her passion and directed her towards the unimaginable path and life experiences, and not only lived a comfortable life, but also saved many animals in urgent need of help. She has never had fear in front of her pets. She always spent time with them and care for them whenever they needed. She always kept them near her, but there's one thing she never lets her guard down. A person can never feel 100% safe around lions because they have natural instincts. They act according to their instincts. She started explaining how cautious she was. I personally believe my lions won't attack me out of anger, but I have some scratches and bruises from interacting with them. She spends a lot of time with them so feels like they would never attack her out of spite. Even if she gets hurt. No cat owner would mind having their pet cat always leaves her with bruises. And is not just a caretaker of lions. She considers them her own children. Most people are surprised by this. It has become a part of my life. And told the interviewers. And is like other pet owners. When she was alone in the wild, those animals could kill her at any time if they weren't her pets. But this woman is doing what she can to give them a better life. Cat, named Barnaby, is the oldest at the shelter. No one wants to adopt it. Everyone who came to the shelter have reasons why they couldn't adopt it. Soon Barnaby lost all hope. No one can give it a forever home. It is only its own shadow. One day, a veterinarian walked into the shelter and picked it up. A minute later, a shocking thing happened. Barnaby hadn't always lived in the shelter. It once had a family, and its owners doted on it as if it's the most important pet in the world. Barnaby used to live in a big house with its own room. Its owners gave it lots of food, kisses and hugs. That's all there is to it. Barnaby walked into the couple's front yard when it was just two years old. When they found it, they took it in and gave it a lot of food. The next day, Barnaby returned to the garden. The couple fed it again. The couple hesitated for days before adopting it. 
They gave it a lot of care and love. However, their love did not stand the test of time. As Barnaby grew up, its owners loved it less and less. Then Barnaby lost weight. It got thinner and smaller with age. Unfortunately, its owners didn't like this. When Barnaby was about 10 kilograms, the couple adopted another young and energetic kitten. The new kitten had all their attention so they didn't have time to care for Barnaby. In addition, Barnaby had a hard time accepting this new kitten, so they fought frequently. Which made Barnaby's owners impatient. They didn't give Barnaby enough time to get along with this new feline. They hated it, gave it up and took it to a shelter. This cat became troublesome so we decided to bring it in, the couple said. What has changed is their love. All this is gone. Some people don't have unconditional love. The shelter staff were worried about Barnaby although they knew it's difficult to adopt a cat. However, they hope Barnaby will be different. A few hours after Barnaby arrived at the shelter, staff found it's a lovely and patient cat. They couldn't understand why its owners had abandoned it. Barnaby is leisure and it doesn't make it difficult for the staff. It protects other cats in the shelter. A few days later, staff named it Barnaby. The shelter's owners shared Barnaby's story on their website in the hope that someone would adopt it. This funny cat came here a few days ago because its owners don't want it anymore. I have never seen a cat so obedient and cute. Although it is old, it is gentle. Let's give it a proper home. Barnaby needs your support and love more than ever. Many people found Barnaby's story and came to the shelter. However, these visitors never took a closer look at it. Many families thought that Barnaby was a lovely cat, but they didn't adopt it because they preferred a younger cat. Everyone had a reason or two why they couldn't bring Barnaby home. Some said they didn't know how to take care of an older cat. Others claim they lived in a noisy area. They have young kids so can't take care of it. The days passed, but the situation remained the same for Barnaby. Workers carried out more publicity on their websites and social media pages, but they were very worried that this cat would never find its own home. A few months later, a couple walked into the shelter. When they saw Barnaby, they fell in love with it. They spent more than an hour with Barnaby. It's the longest time a visitor had ever spent with this cat. They thought this couple loved Barnaby and would take it home. However, the couple had a conversation in a corner of the shelter. No one knew what they discussed. Finally they told workers that they would adopt another cat and give Barnaby away. Unfortunately, Barnaby will not be leaving the shelter now. Barnaby who was energetic and happy in the past doles over time. It doesn't play with other cats anymore. Every day it sits in a corner with sadness and longing in its eyes. For the next week, Barnaby stopped most of its diet. It thinks that it has no more hugs and kisses. It used to go to its former home. They hope that Barnaby's savior will appear as soon as possible. However, it didn't take long for Lockwood to adopt it. The veterinarian, Dr. Sheen, went to the shelter to treat these animals. Sometimes he greeted employees. One day, he came to the shelter as usual. This visit changed Barnaby's life. The veterinarian brought his wife to examine some cats that day. They just lost their cat and wanted to adopt a sweet and loving cat to warm their home. This couple fell in love with Barnaby as soon as they saw it. They wanted a gentle and cuddly cat, and Barnaby looked exactly like the cat they wanted. What's more, he even wrote Tender Soul on the cage tag. This couple owned a veterinary center. They thought that Barnaby would be the perfect pet for their veterinary center and life. Dr. Sheen asked the staff to open Barnaby's cage. Staff were nervous after opening the cage because they feared Barnaby would not open its mind. For them, Barnaby was a happy cat anymore. 
what happened next shocked them. Barnaby, come here, said the doctor. To their surprise, Barnaby walked towards its future owner. Just then, Dr. Sheen hugged it. Barnaby has not had such an intimate interaction with a human being for a long time. And this touched its heart. A minute after they cuddled, Barnaby changed a lot. It run around meowing wildly. The staff gave it a big bowl of food and it finished so much food. It seemed to be energetic again. Such a heartwarming scene. Everyone in the shelter shed tears that day. Dr. Sheen told staff that he would take Barnaby for a trial. If it goes well, he would adopt it. Fortunately, Barnaby adapted quickly. It's not just an office cat. It gives hope to anyone who walks into an office. A few months after Barnaby arrived at the office, someone dropped a kitten in a card box in the front of the office. That cat was very scared. When they tried to test it, it looked scared. Fortunately, Barnaby helped it. This older cat cuddled with a terrified kitten until they finished testing. It remained calm. Barnaby even spent hours in the cage with the kitten. Dr. Sheen said I'm so glad we adopted him. It changed our lives Barnaby is in the office every day, cuddling the animals when they are in pain or stress. It also reassures those people who panic when entering the office. The sterile environment and metal rods intimidate some guests. They are lucky because Barnaby comforts them. Barnaby helps its owner in every way. Its warm and friendly nature keeps them moving forward in life. Barnaby knows when its owner is stressed and needs a hug. Dr. She knows that Barnaby is too old. He plans to retire his beloved pet one day. Barnaby is having a good time now. I hope you like this story. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any wonderful stories. Let me know what you think of Barnaby in the comments.